Hello from London, this is your quick take on the biggest stories around the world right now. I just think it's an embarrassment. You know, it's all going to come to fruition on January 20th. And between now and then, my hope and expectation is that the American people are, do know and do understand that there has been a transition. In his first news conference, President-elect Joe Biden said he was moving forward with transition planning. This despite Republican legal challenges and Donald Trump's refusal to cooperate in the smooth transition of power. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, meanwhile, said there would be a smooth transition, but to a second Trump administration. The remark may have been in jest, but adds to President Trump's unsubstantiated claims of voter fraud. More than a dozen members of Hong Kong's pro-democracy bloc resigned Wednesday. This after China moved to disqualify so-called unpatriotic lawmakers. China's top legislative body earlier passed a measure requiring lawmakers to be patriots, the latest sign of China's determination to reign in dissent. The enormous hurdles in mass distribution of Pfizer and BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine are becoming clearer. Shots will have to be stored in deep freeze, transported in refrigerated vehicles, and once thawed, used within five days. Countries will need to build the production and transportation networks from scratch. That will require massive investment and coordination. The European Union has clinched a deal on long-term spending plans, moving closer to a landmark budget and stimulus accord worth the equivalent of $2 trillion. Policymakers are under pressure to agree a package for next year. This as the bloc fights surging virus numbers and the worst recession in history. The European Commission says the plan will add 2% to economic output. TikTok's Chinese parent ByteDance is asking a federal appeals court in Washington to intervene in its dispute with the Trump administration. ByteDance is seeking to help the forced sale of the app on national security grounds. An agreement was reached to sell 20% to Oracle and Walmart, but that deal now hangs in the balance amid changes in the White House and a legal challenge. Apple is launching three new Macs, kicking off its transition away from Intel. They're the first Mac computers with a main processor designed in-house. The company says the change will enable better battery life and faster graphics. Apple has been shipping its own processors since 2010, first in the iPad, then the iPhone. More on all of these stories right now on Bloomberg.com. This is Bloomberg Quick Take.